Sarah's on side. Ah, <sighs> much better. <laughs> I was really cold. No, you weren't. You were like, fine. Shut up, Nancy. I was freezing. I almost died. Three, three, four, five, Jeez. five, five, seven, two, seven, six, two, five. Is that right? I thought you said yes, 65. Yes. You've reached the office of Dr. Nikki Sabatini, professor of geology at the University of Alberta, Camrose. The sound of the beep. No, no, disregard all that. I'm here. Who's this? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at the Icicle Creek Lodge, and I recently came across some kind of device that had your phone number on it. Yeah, tell me, tell me what it is. Well, it has a spike on one end of it, and... Well, actually, this, I mean, someone's uh, dog was using it as a chew toy. She must have found it outside somewhere. You know what it is? It's a geophone. Someone stole a whole crate of them from me when I was out on Skookum Ridge not too Skookum long ago. Skookum Ridge. Skookum. Skookum. What's a geophone? If you stick it in the ground, a geophone will detect seismic waves and turn them into electrical signals. Which Gee, I wonder if someone's blowing stuff up so to find some fossils. Geologists like me make maps of mineral deposits and such without doing any digging. See, I was preparing to do a subsurface survey of the area using reflection seismology. I set up camp, stored all my equipment in a trailer, went into town for supplies, and when I came back, the trailer had been broken into and all my geophones oh, were gone. No. I was going to be the first that person sucks. to do a full geological survey of the Icicle Creek drainage and the ridges surrounding it. Got grant money and everything. The person who ripped off my equipment sure screwed that up for me. If I ever get my hands on him, oh! Ooh. You have no idea who it was? It was snowing, so there are no tracks. So I don't know if he came by car or snowmobile or on foot or what. I'm assuming it was a guy, because he nice only took Canadian the geophones, so he must have known what they were and how to use them. I'm and assuming. Not that many women are into explosives. Explosives? It's not like the other guy saying a boot. A boot? Detonate something on the surface what of the ground, talking a boot? and the concussion creates seismic waves which bounce off different geological features differently, depending on the impedance of the feature. The reflected waves are what the geophones detect and transmit. So, to put the geophones to use, you need to blow things up? Correct. That's interesting. So, if someone were looking for valuable mineral deposits, they might use geophones to do it? If someone had the technical expertise, yes. Although reflection seismology is more typically employed to locate deposits of hydrocarbons, like oil and gas. What hmm. types of mineral deposits are likely to be found around the Icicle Creek drainage? All kinds of deposits. Silver, lead, uranium, molybdenum. Molybdenum? That's that what makes yours a meter. Molybdenum. Cool. I think that's why I became a geologist. Just so I'd have a reason to say molybdenum. Anyway, if you come across any more of my geophones, or anything that would indicate awesome who stole them, please, please. Is it really? Please let me know. I will. Good. It's not as malleable as other metals. That's cool. <laughs> what, do what do you know, know about, about dinosaur, dinosaur bones? bones? Precious little. Does molybdenum have like a higher heating point? In Alberta, I, don't nothing, know. Nothing I just know that a lot of the time they use it to make that, alloys that make your shoes really sure stronger. And all cool. my paleo pals are currently off digging in the dirt on the other side of the world, so I'm afraid I can't refer you to anyone either. Are dinosaur bones good for anything? Other than studying? If you're a scientist, no. But because they're obviously rare, a lot of people collect them. In fact, I understand that I have a hard time believing that there's a black market black for market. dinosaur bones. You mean people pay money for dinosaur bones? People Maybe pay that's big naive money of me. for them. Probably. I appreciate your taking the time to talk to me. One more thing. All of my geophones were hardwired to transmit at 990 kilohertz. So if you find any kind of receiver tuned to that frequency, check it out. Because it could very well belong to the thief. Bye! Okay. Oh, awesome. we can open the stool. What? Let's open the stool. What? Open the stool. What? Open the stool. What? Open the stool. That stool. How can you even open it? What? Read the diary again!
Yeah, you're dumb. Didn't say anything about There's like them. pictures of the stool and like weird things. It's like Yeah. Yeah, I did the gold mine. That's because it's freaking like a dinosaur bone. Oh, is it? Yeah, maybe if you read uh, it like a grown up. I didn't. Gonna tattle on Ollie. Hello? Hi Chantal. I finished that survey and faxed it to Tino. I know. I was a little disappointed to hear that a it little had failed to pinpoint the culprit, but Tino said he's still analyzing the data, whatever that means. Being anyway, useless. What else is going on? Did Ollie tell you that Guadalupe Comillo checked out? Yes, he told me. Did he tell you he pretty much threw her out? Well, good riddance, right? I mean, he said she was an environmental nut job. In fact, he said he wouldn't be surprised if she's the one who caused those accidents and blew up the bunkhouse. I don't think so. You don't? I was hoping I could tell my lawyer that the case is closed and come You're home. You're dumb. I still have to come up with proof. Oh, that. Well, the lodge is probably better off without her in any case. Although she did pay for her stay in advance. And in cash. Cash is good. Oh, well. Anything else to report? Did you know that Ollie is building a trap to catch the wolf that's been hanging around? No, but he told me he'd been having trouble shooting it, so good for him. Whatever it takes to get rid of it. But why does he need to get rid of it? It's not hurting anything. It's freaking out my guests, which means it's hurting my bottom line, especially on top of everything else that's been happening. But why not, say, call a wolf sanctuary and have them come and take the wolf away? Do you think we that have a lot of wolf sanctuary more humane. sanctuaries here? Look, Maybe. Ollie's had a lot of experience like with way way up, yeah. or whatever he calls them. So I have to assume yeah, well, that he knows best. Indian fact, Where was this? Like, Alberta. Alberta. Okay. Uh, lions, tigers, bears, wolves, they're all a huge insurance risk to someone in my business. So I don't care how Ollie does it. I just want that wolf gone. ASAP. Oh, I didn't tell you that we had to You'll change the location for our music trip this year. I need answers. Why? Because of the bomb threats that's been happening towards the Edmonton, uh, mall. Where are you going now? Calgary. You guys can't go to Edmonton because bomb threats? Yeah. Pinevale Hospital, Nurse Blake speaking. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm trying to locate a man named Julius McQuaid. I think he may have been treated there on Christmas Eve. Oh, yes, Julius McQuaid. I remember him well. Was he a relative, dear? Was? You mean he passed away? Yes, dear. Viral pneumonia. Oh, no. Julius McQuaid is dead. Well, I wasn't a relative, and I didn't really know him. We had kind of a mutual friend. From his I I attached to that guy. That's why I remember him. I felt sorry for him living all alone like that. Actually, he wasn't alone. Who died? The owner of the dog. Oh, wolf. I see. Friendly wolf. You weren't able to locate any next of kin? No, I'm afraid we weren't. When he came in, all he had were the clothes on his back and the wallet. Oh man, nothing. We turned his clothes over to the authorities along with. I'm sure by now he's a pile of ash. Well, okay. thank you for the information. That's fine. Goodbye, dear. Maybe check the sauna, yeah. This is so invigorating. Really? Yeah. I'm just going just... to stand here and absorb the warmth. Just invigorating, Dean. Hmm. I didn't know I could actually go in there. I'd been too scared, I think. <laughs> Why? Because people sometimes get stuck in it? Yeah. And yeah. then they'll die from the heat? No problem. Holy well, shit, you're, you're kicking ass, ass though. Okay. Really good, though. Oh, there's even like a herker. I think it might Holy be shit. Yeah! Jane, you did it! 